everyone, Micah here with Electric, and today I'm coming to you from Phoenix, where I am testing out the Electric XP Trike. Let's check it out. The Electric XP Trike and its low cost of just $1,499 is perhaps the biggest thing to shake up the electric trike industry in, well, just about ever. And by the way, if you decide to pick up the XP Trike and found my coverage here helpful, we've got an affiliate link for you down below this video. It gets you the best current price and also helps support us making this free content. Not that we don't enjoy doing it anyway. For example, what's not to like about getting to cruise around Phoenix on the newest electric trike in the industry? Now, I only spent a day on the XP trike and so this isn't my full review yet. That's still coming. This is just my first ride experience. But I want to go ahead and cover all of the interesting parts of this new ride and what I learned from testing it out myself. A quick spec overview, the electric XP trike has a 500 watt motor with over a thousand watts of peak power and it's mounted at its jack shaft so it can power both the rear wheels through an open differential axle. The battery is a 48 volt and 14 amp hour unit with 672 watt hours of capacity, which I'll tell you right now is more than you need. In the best case scenario, in low power mode, it'll get you 60 miles of range, which is a lot. Even in the highest of the five power levels though, I can't see a case where you'd get less than 30 miles of range. That's because it's got a low top speed of just 14 miles per hour, which keeps the trike nice and stable so it doesn't get away from anyone, but also means that it barely sips away at that big battery. So basically, you're never going to have to worry about range. The bike is also surprisingly light at 69 and a half pounds. Now that is heavy, but for a trike that's pretty light. It's also a folder, which means you can tuck it into a tighter space, plus the folding design helps it arrive fully assembled, so you're not bolting together pieces like an IKEA table. The parts on the bike include some okay components and some fancier ones. The company definitely saved a few bucks by going with a single speed drivetrain and no suspension. But then again, it only gets up to 14 miles an hour, so how many gears do you really need? And since you don't go that fast, you don't hit obstacles as hard, so suspension isn't quite as critical. And you also have more time to avoid potholes and other things at these low speeds. I took the XP trike on some way rougher terrain than it should ever really be ridden on, and it worked just fine. Though most people are not going to be riding around on rutted out trails like this. Even a simple nature trail though will be fine with the current setup, and so I'm not worried about the lack of suspension on the bike. On the nicer side of things, you do get real hydraulic disc brakes, including parking brake switches on both levers. Considering that some people will probably load the electric XP down with some serious cargo, the extra power of hydraulic disc brakes is nice to have. Even if you don't need that extra stopping power though, hydraulic brakes are an almost zero maintenance solution, which means you won't need to be constantly adjusting your brakes like with mechanical disc brakes. The real takeaway here though on the XP trike is the performance. The power is so much more impressive than I expected. Sure, it's still gentle off the line, which is an important for a trike that's going to be used by a lot of elderly riders. But if you need to climb a hill, there's a serious amount of power and torque waiting for you. Now, one of the things that amazes me about testing this trike out is just how powerful and torquey the motor is. Right now, I am standing on a super steep hill on the side of this mountain. I'm sure the camera doesn't do it justice, but trust me, this thing is hard to walk up. Pushing a bike up here, I mean, this is ridiculous. Also, I've got a bag with about 45 or 50 pounds of steel weights back here just to make it heavier because I only weigh about 150 pounds myself. Even with all of this, when you hop on the trike here, you can climb right up steep hills, throttle only, if you don't roll away first. Here's a little demo of just how steep this hill is since I knew it wouldn't look as impressive on camera. But why tell you about how well it climbs up a massive hill when I could just show you? So while I've only got a day on the bike so far, and while I'll definitely be back with a more complete review once the retail versions are ready, by the way this was a prototype, I'm already super psyched about the electric XP trike. 
It rides well, it's surprisingly stable even when doing donuts, and most importantly, it opens the door to so many riders that want to enjoy an electric trike, but can't afford the fancier and more expensive options out there. This is still a great performing e-trike, yet at a price that us normies can stomach. Thanks for watching everyone. We hope you enjoyed that test ride on the XP trike. If you did, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? And don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any of our future electric vehicle videos. We'll see you here next time.